In this example, we're looking at an equation where we have a variable and a constant added together, m plus a equals 11. Whenever we're solving an equation, we want to get m or x or y or whatever the variable is by itself. We're trying to find out here what m is. So to find out what m is, we've got to get rid of this 8. So what is the opposite operation of adding 8? We're going to do that to get rid of it. The opposite of adding 8 is to subtract 8. But if I subtract 8 from this side, I have to subtract 8 from this side to keep the equation balanced. So I'll write m plus 8 minus 8 equals 11. I subtracted 8 here, so I have to subtract 8 over on this side. What I get is m plus 8 and minus 8 they cancel each other out, they, get, they become 0. So m equals 11 minus 8, which is 3. Now if I want to do a check, check this question, I look at the left side and I look at the right side of my original equation. So I go way up here, I look at the equal sign, and I take the left side of it, m plus 8. Then I look at the right side, equals 11. And I substitute in with the value that I found for m. So I had figured out that m equals 3. I'm going to put 3 in down here to check. 3 plus 8 equals 11. So my left side equals 11. My right side equals 11. And if that works out, I know I've done it correctly. Again, when solving equations, we always want to get x or y or z all by itself. So when we look at this question, we have x, but we've got this 2 here, we've got this 1 here, they're all in the way from us knowing whatever x is. So what we want to do here is um, get all the x's on one side and the numbers on the other side. And we could look at moving this number or moving this number. The easiest thing to do would be to get rid of this 1 first. Um, because it's just adding and subtracting. So, I'm going to subtract 1 from this side to get rid of the 1, but I have to subtract 1 from the other side to keep the equation balanced. So I get x over 2 equals 5 minus 1, which is 4. These two cancel and gave me 0. This gave me 4. Now, I've got x over 2 equals 4, or x divided by 2 equals 4. <clears throat> the opposite operation of dividing by 2 is to multiply by 2. So I'm going to multiply this side by 2, because when I do that, 2 and 2 from the numerator and denominator, they cancel each other out. They give me a 1. But if I multiply this side by 2, I have to multiply the right-hand side by 2, and what I get is x equals 8, and that's my solution. Sometimes you'll be asked to solve, but before you can solve, you have to substitute in a value, like this example. You're asked to solve when x equals negative 2. So they're saying, whatever value x is, it's not unknown anymore. I'm telling you, x is negative 2. So instead of leaving this as an x, we're going to put negative 2 there. So instead of 6 times x, we have 6 times negative 2. Now we just go through and follow our Begnus laws. y equals, do we have brackets? Yes, but we can't do anything with what's in the brackets. Do we have exponents? No. Do we have dividing? No. Do we have multiplying? Yes. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. And go through bed with all over again. Brackets, exponents, divide, multiply, add, subtract. Negative 12 minus 10 is negative 22. And that's your solution.